Hi there, Stampers and Crafters. My name is Tammy White, and welcome to our online class, where today we're going to be playing with goats, and not just goats, flipping goats. I'm going to show you how to make these really fun pool tab flip cards. Um, slightly different. I've done uh, pool tab flip cards before. They are so, so popular. Everybody loves these cards because they're fun, they're interactive. But I'm going to do a different size this time, the same size card, but different size flipping mechanisms. And very easy to do and very fun. And seriously, I cannot get enough of these goats. I just love them. So um, I'm going to pop right down to the table and we'll take a look at what we're making today. So this is the way to goat stamp set. I saw a couple of uh, goat fans uh, as we were uh, getting ready for the five minute warm up uh, in the, on the intro. Saw a couple of you have, oh, look at that. There's not only, everybody loves the goats, including my pearls stuck right on there. But the, the sayings on this are just so funny. <laughs> so the two flip cards, I, I'll make this one today, but they're, they're both made the same way. They're just a, different sayings. Um, this one is, I gotcha, I gotcha cake. And then you flip it and it says, but I ate it. <laughs> and this one is, sorry, I, I stuck them together so I could take some photographs. This one says, you're the G-O-A-T, goat, greatest of all time, right? That's what we call Tom Brady, the goat, greatest of all time. And then inside it says, happy birthday, old goat. <laughs> oh, so many fun things with this one. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do the, the flip. Super easy. I'll, I have all the uh, measurements here on the free PDF. You can download that at stampwithtammy.com or you can click on the link in the video's description. Um, I have, a, it's called the resource page where I have all the resources. The replay of this video will be there. So you can pop on back there if you want to rewind and check it out again. And uh, uh, some other resources there as well as all the supplies. But the measurements are what's mostly important, right? And that is, um, again, on that free PDF. So you can pop on over to my blog to get that. All right, so let's get started. We are going to, um, let's see, let's start with our coloring, right? Because we're going to do a couple different techniques here today. And, uh, oh, sorry, there's only so much space on my, my table here. So a couple different techniques we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing the, the pull mechanism for the flip card. And we're also going to be um, doing some coloring with some Stampin' Blends. So let's do that first. And let me see if I can find a piece of scratch paper over here to start with. So I've pre-cut our pieces here and these are, um, from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. So the Stitch So Sweetly dies, I'll just pull that in there so you can see it. These are, this is what the die set looks like. So they're nice frames. We've got, uh, it's got scallops and stitching. So these are the two largest. And I, I indicated that on the free PDF, what size I used. If you don't have these, you can still make these cards. Don't worry. Um, just take the measurement of the frames that I have on that PDF and make your white panel a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch smaller. That's it. But these are they add a really nice touch to the to the card. So let's bring in our blends. And we're gonna use memento ink. You always want to use the memento ink when you're working with the stampin' blends. And I think I'm gonna need my readers for this part. <laughs> Bear with me. All right, so I'm gonna stay. I love this goat. I love them all. They're just so funny. But I'm gonna stamp this one on um, the larger of the two, kind of, kind of down towards the bottom. Don't feel like I did a good job inking up there. All right. I wanted there to be enough room for the words on here. So cute. And then let's go to the words on the front. I got your cake. <laughs> oh, it's just so funny. Got your cake, but I ate it. <laughs> All right. So then I'm going to, I'm going to take this cute little, this little guy's got the, the little side eye going on there. You're like, you know, he's, he know he's up to something, right? He's just so funny. And he's going to go a little towards the top because I'm going to stamp the words down below him. And then the words for him are... <laughs> but I ate it. 
Okay. One more little piece of stamping I'm going to do here is um, there's a little, um, just a, it's a little swoosh piece. Here, right here. I'm going to use that for the grass that goes below him. And I'm going to do that in Granny Apple Green. So everything else I've done with the Memento, but that piece I'm going to do with the Granny Apple Green. Hi, Sue. No, I do not think they'll be coming out with, with dyes for the, the goats or the donkeys. The donkeys are gone. They're not coming back. The donkeys were a celebration. Oh my gosh. They were so funny, right? Loved them. Um, but no, that I won't, they won't be coming out with, with dyes. I, I, this might even be retiring. The retiring list will be coming out the end of the month. So Oops. something, you know, some things they, some things they do, some things they don't. But it's okay because we can have lots of fun with this, even without dyes. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is a little coloring. I'm just, I colored in uh, his, the little flower here in the leaf with Highland Heather because that's the color that I'm using um, for the background of the card. And I liked it when everything's matching. And let's see. So we've got the grainy apple green for the leaf that's going to match the grass. Again, I like it when everything's matching. Matchy, matchy. Okay, so for the goat, I've got two different colors here. I've got um, Sahir, Sahir's, no, Gray Granite. Gray Granite and um, and Smoky Slate. Yeah, I know. I didn't put grass under the fluffy guy's feet. You know what? Let's do that. I didn't do it on the original, but I can do it now. You're right. I didn't put it there. Oops. Wrong one. <laughs> that wasn't the grass. That was the words. All right. There we go. All right. Better? Yeah, I think so too. So for the goat, I took um, the lightest of the lights. So the gray green that I found to be lighter than the smoky slate and I took the light. So the blend, steam and blend markers, they come in a dark and a light each. And actually, you know what? Before I do that, let's do his face. So for the face, I took the ivory. And just, and I did this on both of them. Oops, sorry. I'm going to darken this up a little bit um, by taking the uh, darker crumb cake and doing a little highlighting with it. The Stampin' Blends are great for... Um, for blending, because that's what they do, right? They're, they're blends. So we're gonna do a, just a tiny little bit of highlighting. I know it looks messy, but we'll fix that in just a minute on both, both of that. And then blend that in. Yeah, you're right. He does look a little bit more uniform with, with grass under both of them. <laughs> that's what I got you guys here for, right? It's not just a company. You guys can help me with my, <laughs> help me with placement. All right. So I back to that light granite gray. Okay. So here I'm going to take very, very, uh, thin, well, relatively thin and just kind of go along the inside of the goat. Just, I'm just following the lines of the image that are already there. And for the legs, uh, actually, you know what? The legs I'm going to do in a different color. So let's go ahead and do this one the same way. Just, just kind of, it's almost like an inner shadow here. Just on all of the, just following the, the image, the line art of the image. All right. I didn't blend that part. I left it just like it is. And then I'm going to go ahead with the darker smoky, smoky slate. Felt like the black marker was too dark. I wanted their legs dark, but um, I, I still wanted there to be a little bit, you know, the legs showing there. So the dark smoky slate was the perfect color for that. And then for the horns, we're going to do the dark crumb cake. 
yeah, I didn't do, I know other than the face, I'm not doing a lot of blending. If you wanted to on the horns, you could do light crumb cake with a little bit of dark to add a little bit of pop there, a little variation, but I'm just going to go with just the dark for now. Now it's already adorable, right? These, these, you can't go wrong with these guys. They're just so funny. <laughs> I, I love a good, you know, funny set with some good words on it. So now I'm taking, this is a Seaside Spray, the light. I found that to be one of the lightest of the colors. And just a reminder that this is retiring. This Seaside Spray is retiring. Um, so that announcement will be coming out at the end of the month. And you're going to want anything you want in any of those retiring end colors. You're going to want to get it ASAP before. Don't wait. Get it before that uh, list comes out because... What ends up happening is they sell out like sometimes some things that are really popular, maybe an ink pad for a popular color, a popular ink color, they sell out within hours. And I don't want you to be that one or two or 10 persons that, that are contacting me saying, oh, I didn't, you know, I didn't get my, my Rococo Rose or my Seaside Spray ink pad refill and I can't do it. I don't have any, I, I, I can't carry stock. So I don't want you to be left out. Or missing some of your favorite colors so get it now especially the paper the refill ink pads get those now so i am just pretty much just tracing our, our image there with that seaside spray because it just makes it pop see the difference between the two this one right here with our, our seaside spray around him he just bang pops right off at you and there i mean there really isn't too too much there for that If the new ink colors do not have a light blue, because I don't know what they're going to be, and they're not the same always, they, they, they differ from year to year. Um, balmy blue would be the next lightest blue that you could do this with. Ta-da! All right, goats are done. They're ready. <laughs> they are ready for some action oh yeah photo bombing, bombing goat melody now that would be funny that would definitely be funny all right so we've done our coloring here i'm going to put these off to the side yeah you're right veronica she's like if you buy the reinkers because they go first they do i'm not gonna lie some of the, these colors are awesome and i do expect them to sell out quickly okay i'm gonna bring in the um simply scored tool and we're going to make our pull mechanism for the card. So um, I know I, I, I cut this one a little bit longer. I cut this six and a half. I think that's what I put on the PDF. And then we're going to score it at um, two and two and a quarter. I like so. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and take the, um, I think this is the fancy, I, I couldn't remember which topper. I think it's the fancy topper punch. Scallop topper punch would look work good too. So I'm just going to slide that through. It's got guides here for different sizes, but ours is two inches. And just punch the top of that. And that's going to become our pull tab. And it's it's all ready for us. Got the hole and everything all ready for the ribbon. Those suckers are great. Uh-oh. Good to know, Diana. She says terracotta tiles already on low inventory. Um, yeah. So if you if you're <laughs> if you're not sure which colors are the retiring in colors, let me pop those up for you really quickly. It's the five over here on the on the right: Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy, and the Seaside Spray that we just used. So pretty much everything in those colors are pretty much guaranteed to go. Um, I don't have any um, insight on what's going, but oh, we're getting five new in colors. That's how they work. If you have not seen my um, what you need to know about retiring in colors presentation, make sure you catch that stampwithtammy.com. Click on the video section because I, I don't want anybody to miss out. It's just, you know, they're awesome colors and I want you to have your refills and everything else that you need with them. Okay, so let me, sorry for reaching across here. We are going to go ahead and let's, let's go ahead and punch the center out of this to make our um, slot. Now I'm using the classic label punch to do that. And I'm going to go right in the center of our designer series paper. Now the designer series paper, pretty, right? This is a fun one. 
this is slightly over to one side. That's totally fine. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, this came from the playing with patterns designer series paper. This is a super, super fun. So I use that on the original. This is the one I'm using on the card I'm making now. Lots of fun. And you know what else I'm playing with this with? Stay tuned. Um, you'll be seeing this soon. I have been playing with this paper to make Easter egg cards <laughs> because they, I thought the, the patterns and the colors were perfect for Easter. So that was, a, it was a great fun collection there to work with. Okay. So before we start assembly, let's go ahead and, and pull all these pieces and see, and see what we got going on. Cause I think we're ready. I think we've got all of our pieces here. So we've got a frame for our top piece and for our bottom piece. So we've got our pull mechanism and then we've got our card base. I've already cut and folded that. I even put the inside insert in there. I like to do that when they're dark. And then we've got our uh, panels for the front. So let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and put this right on the card with some seal adhesive. I'm just using regular straight up seal adhesive for that. And these guys I attached with Stampin' Dimensionals to their, to their frame pieces. So I'll go ahead and put those on there because I, I wanted them to pop even more. Actually, the, the, I, I only did that with the outside one. I didn't do it with the inside one because that made the card too bulky to have him on the, in the inside pop up. So we'll do him with steel. And gorgeous grape is the color that we have here. This is um, the our base color. And then we've got a little purple posy here on this guy. All right. So before I go ahead and attach this, this is how it's going to work. Okay, so the, this purple posy stripes is my front. This is our pull mechanism. It is going to go in here and it's going to attach only right here. So what's gonna happen is, oops, sorry, this, this piece needs to come out. There we go. So it's gonna attach only right there. So what's gonna happen is, and I'm just gonna kinda angle this a little bit. So when you pull it, Hard. <laughs> it's hard for me to do this while I'm holding it, but when you pull it, this is, this is the piece that gives the flip. So we're going to go ahead and attach our two, um, panels to that, starting with this guy on the inside. Now what, for this part, I'm using, um, seal plus, which is stronger than the regular seal. I'm going to go ahead and put it on this panel for Get that on there really good. Okay, so the first panel, I don't know if you can see that. I've got I've already got the adhesive on it, and I'm gonna put this right up against the edge. I did it well, I meant to do it in the center, but I, I put it up like I guess he's not exactly in the center. I guess it's gonna work out just fine anyways. Just make sure that you layer this guy. So he's even, so they're both even. All right, so now I've got this um, little lip here. That's where this is going to attach. So again, I wanna make sure that the guy underneath it is straight up. This is the, this is the whole trick right here. Okay, so this guy's gonna be <laughs> hard to do while you're holding, but that's what's gonna be our, oops, that's what's gonna be our pull mechanism. Sorry, I had a little rip on the side here and it's not getting very good coverage. See if I can fix that. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Yay! Okay, so now I'm going to slide this through the hole, just like I had it earlier when I was doing the example. And I want to I want to line it up so that it's in the center. It's going to be slightly to the top because that's just 
oh, how I attached it, but that's okay. It's still going to look awesome. He's still adorable, right? <laughs> okay. So for attaching, I'm going to put seal plus or tear tape or something stronger than, um, the regular seal or liquid glue, because you want, this is going to get pulled. It's going to get manhandled. People are going to be, you know, play, interactive cards <laughs> get a lot of, uh, get a lot of playing time. So I've got some strong adhesive there. I've, I've, I'm going to line this up so it's exactly where I want it. Don't press down until it's exactly where you want it on the front and then press down. Oops. Oh man, I'll come back to that. Okay. All right. So this is our pull mechanism. I'm actually going to, I'm going to put some tear tape there because I've already, I'm afraid if I put the applicator over that little lip one more time, it's going to tear again. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm putting adhesive on and I don't know if you can see that it's just that, um, the tiny little, um, piece right there that this attaches to my original. When I put the original down, I got a little too excited. <laughs> you could make that, um, go a half inch. So Sue's asking, and it's a good question. Could you go a half inch instead of a quarter inch here on that little lip that I'm putting this on? Um, I did experiment with that and I did not like it as much. So you can go certainly play around with that and see how you feel about it. But I liked the, the smaller lip there. I just felt there was less, if you had a bigger lip here, this piece right here, kind of, it's awkward. So anyways, that's it. That's all there was to it. So we've just got adhesive only, and I just going to flip this back so you can see it's only on the back of that inner panel and that, that little lip is what's flipping. Ta-da. Okay. So now we're going to attach this to our card. And for that, we are going to use Stampin' Dimensionals. If I can find some on the table. So now you see the magic, the, the, the secrets of magic behind the scenes. <laughs> so you know how it works when you go to put yours together. It really is super easy, you know, even if you do rip the, <laughs> rip the card stuck a little bit and have to do a little surgery. It's still easy and awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and line that up here. And I use the dimensional so that this panel has popped up a little bit so that we're, we have a little space there to, to pull. Here's our pull mechanism. That's basically it. That's basically our, our pull tab card. So super fun. I'm going to, uh, use a little bling to finish this off. I'm going to take some, just because I love this ribbon. <laughs> uh, it is triple. It's like purple, triple, I forget what it's called. And, uh, it's, it, this is available in my online store. I'm afraid it's probably going to be retired. I'm, I'll be very sad because it's so super fun and it goes really great. It's like purple posy and gorgeous grape. And I'm just going to tie it in the knot here. Aw, thanks. I'm glad you thought it was thinking cute. I did too. I love these goats. They're just, they're cracking me up. And then I took, um, some of the pastel pearls and used those as a little bling bling on the, uh, on the front here. I just added, I'll show you what I added them on here. So I added a couple on the top here and then I got, I put a couple on the background. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I stuck that one so I could take pictures. So now we've got two different backgrounds here and that was our card, but wait, but wait. <laughs> so we have the second card here and I have the measurements for this. Um, they are slightly different because I went down a size with the um, Stitch So Sweetly dies. So instead of using the two largest, I use the second and third largest. So there's a little bit more space. I'm gonna put these two out so you can see. There's a little bit more space around it here. So easy to do this, right? So easy to just change your sizes. Everything else is the same, um, except I used a different image here, but colored it the same. 
and when you open I have my white on the inside so you can write on the inside here because that's something everybody has. I already write yes this will fit in an A2 envelope. Um, the only thing that you're going to have with the envelope is this right here because it's a standard size card but your pull tab is going to pull out just a hair so you're going to want to either you know use your envelope it's not going to it's not going to fold quite on the score line it's going to fold a little bit before that to get it to, to close or you might want you might want to step up a size get a bubble envelope totally up to you so i've got more <laughs> i've got more um i know recently i did this uh the snail flip card so he's done with the um the stitched shapes dies so i this was a video that i had done um a couple months ago and I have this linked on the resource page, the snail. So um, you can find that there too, because the snails are another stinking cute set like this guy, like these goats. And uh, a couple of years ago, I shared this card. This is what really got me hooked on the pull tab cards. So um, this is a really fun one. I have a link um, to information on this on the, um, on the uh, resource page on what I used, the, the supplies that were used for that one. And last but not least, this is another one I did a couple of years ago. This this set, oh my gosh, they're so funny. So this is another one. This is not good, K N O T, right? So cute. So there's a there's a set of these. Oops. We've got our sloth, and I have the link to to these. So I have the link to everything on the resource page. So you want to go? Sorry, I just ripped this one just now. But, um, you definitely want to go check out the uh the resource page. I have links to the information on all of those all made the same way. So that is the pull tab card. I'm glad you guys love it. Um, you can purchase all of these supplies in my online store and now through the 15th, the 15th is Monday and that is the deadline for the end of my March Madness double point special. So double frequent buyer points means you get free stamps quicker. So for every order that you place using my current, current hostess code, uh, you get points from me and right now you're getting double points so you earn free stamps with your points you can get that information on stampwithtammy.com and if you really love everything you are not going to want to miss my uh vip online club i do classes there every month just exclusive to the vip club and my my stamp it demonstrator group there's a ton on that site i, I live to inspire i really love love giving you guys ideas and different techniques and so tons there for my vip club and uh, last but not least, I don't even think I, <laughs> I got so excited. I jumped right into the stamping and I didn't even tell you what you could win today. <laughs> and that is the uh, floating and fluttering bundle. So uh, some more butterflies. These are in the mini catalog. Um, this is the stamp set and the die that I'm, I'm giving away free here. All you need to do is leave a comment on this video. You might be watching live on Facebook and you might be watching live on YouTube. Or you might be watching the replay on either of those or on my blog. Simply leave a comment. And if you share this video onto social media, make sure you type the word shared into the original video. And I will add you a second time into that drawing. And I will be doing that drawing um, on, this is the date there is March 26th. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Um, and if you are new, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to stampwithtammy.com, whichever social media you're, <laughs> you're watching on so that you don't miss out on any of my free classes. I'm on here every week, twice a week with new ideas and uh, new techniques to share with you guys. And my butterfly brilliance kit, this one um, also ends on Sunday. The last day you can get this is um, uh, the other the other new butterfly set that's out that's absolutely amazing and this is a technique techniques kit it, it's a special offer on the the uh, brand new butterfly suite the blending brushes and it's a whole kit on um, te of techniques on how to use those blending brushes all right well I lost you for a second there <laughs> but now I hope you've enjoyed this class and I hope you have enjoyed these fun goats. Click on over to the resource page to get all the rest of the information on this. And I will be back next week with more inspiration for you. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining me today.